Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm one of the nephrologists working at Columbia Asia Whitefield Hospital. So the diagnosis of glomerulonephritis uh, is usually done with a few simple blood and urine tests um, uh, to start off with and then eventually requires a kidney biopsy to, uh, uh, to better delineate. So um, in, on urine tests we can sometimes see spillage of protein and that amount of protein can be quantified by looking at uh, a 24-hour collection or one-time urine collection to see how much protein is being uh, is spilt into the urine. Uh, we also look for red blood cells in the urine or white blood cells in the urine. Um, and in, the, in terms of blood tests, sometimes we can see a drop in the protein level in the blood. Sometimes we can see elevation in the creatinine level that tells us how the uh, actual kidney function is. We can see other abnormalities as well, including cholesterol abnormalities and so on. Um, but those are the, uh, the, the blood tests that we can do. Um, there are other blood tests that are specific to specific conditions, uh, specific types of glomerulonephritis uh, that we won't go into, but there are specific tests that can be done for that as well. But a kidney biopsy is typically required to best um, understand what type of glomerulonephritis is being, uh, is, uh, the patient is, is presenting with. Uh, kidney biopsy is a relatively simple procedure in most cases. Um, that, can, that is typically done with, uh, the ultras uh, with the use of ultrasound and with the placement of a needle yeah, through the back into the kidney space while observing the kidney with the ultrasound and small samples are taken from the kidney and sent to the lab for evaluation. Uh, the procedure is, is, a, is typically an ambulatory procedure uh, where there are a few risks that there are few risks associated with it that the nephrologist would explain to you at the time of the procedure. But with the kidney biopsy results and the urine and blood tests, the patient can, uh, uh, can have a discussion with the nephrologist as to what type of glomerulonephritis they have and what type of medication they may need. If it is a glomerulonephritis that uh, involves other organ systems, therefore a systemic disease process, the treatment is targeted at the systemic disease process. If it is a specific, uh, such as diabetes for example, if it is specific to the kidneys, occasionally the patient may require medications to suppress their immune system such as steroids or other stronger medications. But the medication, uh, to a great extent, the, the prognosis and the type of medications are, and the plan in terms of the treatment plan can be best uh, decided based on the kidney biopsy results.